start with, why don't you tell us uh, who you are, who you work for, and what you do in that capacity. I am Brian Binkowski. I work at Environmental Health News as a senior editor and staff writer um, and our sister site, The Daily Climate. In the morning, I wake up at 5.30 and build the website with aggregated stories that deal with environmental health from around the world. Um, and then in the afternoon, the rest of my day is spent reporting on uh, similar topics about environmental health, children's health, Great Lakes issues, and climate change. So you're looking at a lot of different studies, correct? Correct. And what, what, what is it about a study that would um, trigger your interest in putting it on your website? What, 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 what is the standard of getting public, the public interested in a particular story? <clears throat> the, the first thing I look for in a study is usually novel. Uh, not having been covered by other news outlets is, is a must. Um, beyond that, again, something novel, something different, something that either pushes the science forward or has uh, human health, uh, wildlife health, um, or, or widespread environmental implications. Um, there's a lot of science that's interesting that we wouldn't cover that don't either push a certain field of science forward or uh, deal with those three those three issues. So it's not enough that it's merely interesting? Not for us. Yeah. No, that would be science. Or... Okay. But then you write stories about studies, is that correct? Correct. And then what is different about the way you approach explaining a study and telling it than what the scientist has done when they reported it in a journal? So I like the journalist, you know, as a journalist, you're going to report on the same findings that the, the, the scientist did, obviously, but in a much different way, whereas the journalist will put the, the, the findings of the study, um, what, what, the, what they found, you know, if it's a water quality study, if they found X amount of uh, uh, chemicals in the water in, in parts per billion, th that's going to be at the top of the news story. So we try to get the news, pull the news out of the scientific study put it at the top of our story and then maybe go into explaining how they how they went about finding that. Um, and then the journalist, you know, is different than the scientist because we have to bring in the, the social, uh, economic, political ramifications of, of the science too. We're not just explaining um, here here's this finding and then leaving it out there like the scientist does kind of in an impartial way. We have to, to kind of tell people what it means for them, their community, their children wildlife, uh, their water quality, things of that nature.